In this demonstration, we see how to get some descriptive statistics from the TIE384 family of graphing calculators. For demonstration purposes, we will use the five numbers from the Chapter 2 Summary Worksheet listed here. Um, in this instance, I'm using the, um, the answers in the back of the book so that we can compare how the calculator does compared to our hand calculations. Um, so to get started, suppose we're over here at the TI. Uh, we press the STAT button. And the first thing we would do is enter this data into a list. And you do that by hitting Enter on the Edit uh, option. And we would enter the data into any one of these lists. It's, it's already entered into list one following the procedure of our previous um, demonstration. So we're good to go. List one has our... Um, data in it. So I'm going to go back to the stat button and I'm going to go over to calc for calculation. So we'll move over there using the right arrow. Calc is now highlighted and one variable statistics option one is highlighted as well. So I'll just hit enter there and what this screen is showing us is that it's going to do one variable descriptive statistics but it needs a list um, so it's prompting us for a list and the numbers we want are under list one. And to find that, you look at these the number of keypads, and above one is the L1. Above two is L2, and so on. So we want L1, so we need to hit the second button, and then one. That gets us list one. And it's ready to go. We just hit F. And the first thing it gives up here, X bar, is the mean which is exactly what we calculated by hand, 76.6. .6. It gives a couple of other things that we don't really use that much, the sum of all the values and the sum of all the squares of the values. And then we have two standard deviations. The first one, S with an X after it, is the sample standard deviation. This is the one we will use most often, and it is what we calculated over here. We got 11.3 and the calculator gets 11.3. So um, that between this standard deviation with the S and the standard deviation with the sigma is that the sigma represents the population standard deviation and that would be calculated by changing this n minus 1 to an n. More often than not we are worried about the sample standard deviation because we usually don't have population data with us. So there's our sample standard deviation um, then after that we have the sample size, n equals 5. Now we have to scroll down using the arrows on the keypad, so we'll scroll down for more. And if we keep going all the way to the bottom, what you'll see is in addition to the sample size, we have the minimum value, the first quartile, the median, the upper quartile, and then the max. And um, what you should notice is that the median is 70, which is what we got here. And it gives you these other quartiles as well. Um, so that gets us some of the statistics we would like. If we wanted to get the sample variance, the trick is denoted by um, actually how you describe the sample variance, and that's just taking the sample standard deviation and squaring it. So if we wanted the variance in this particular problem, we would have to go back up to our sample standard deviation and we would have to square that and it would get us the variance. Um, so it gets you everything you want. It would be nice if they had the variance in there but you can get it easily enough. And um, that's it. It's really not that bad. It's quite simple.